This is a walkthrough of doing a snowflake design in Inkscape, which is an open source vector graphics program. We're going to switch the grid on. So I go into Document Properties, I go to Grid, and just do a new standard rectangular grid. Close that dialog. Zoom in a bit. We have a zoom setting down the bottom of the screen here. I'm going to draw a wedge in which my original design is going to start. So I use the pen tool here. I click to start and then I'm trying to make sure that it all fits into a square at the top of the paper. Uh, click and then double click to finish. Take my selector tool, that selects that. I'm going to duplicate that and then turn that through 30 degrees. Transform, rotate, minus 30 degrees to get an anti-clockwise, a uh, clockwise rotation. I'm going to position that so I have a nice wedge shape and notice the snap to grid, snap to object rather happened there. Inside the wedge I'm going to draw a pattern. I'm going to use squares for this, or rectangles rather, but you can use other shapes, obviously. So don't worry too much about the horrible big black rectangles that we've got coming on at the moment. You probably don't want to make this too complicated, but do try and stay inside the wedge. Otherwise things get really complicated or interesting, depending on your point of view. Maybe just join a few up here and join those two up. There. Simple designs work very well for this. Okay, what I'm going to do is select all of that and then unselect the um, lines. So I'm doing shift click to take out those two lines there. We can then change the fill settings for that. So at the moment it's solid black as you saw. Let me have a look over on the gradient tab here. So that's gone to a gradient from black to transparent and we can edit that gradient. The first stop here, the left hand end, so let's do that in blue, maybe a slightly lighter blue. That's looking all right, isn't it? And let's change the second stop there, which is the transparent black at the moment. Transparent is absolutely fine. Let's change the transparent so it's only semi-transparent and some more blue going in there and maybe a purpley, no I don't like that very much at all somewhere like that, so we've got a, some sort of gradient effect that's looking okay isn't it? oh and that looks fine on the diagram or on the pattern so far I'm going to take everything I've done so far and group those together, so object group gives me one single object with which I can work. I'm going to make a duplicate of that which fits on top. Do you notice that it just went ever so slightly darker and then I'm going to flip that duplicate over horizontally and then move that into position making sure everything lines up very neatly. I'm going to take both of those and again group those together. Object group what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of that and apply and then position that exactly where I want it to be. You can use the cursor keys for finer control of the movement and you might if you wanted to do this very accurately zoom in somewhat. Same trick applies, edit, duplicate and apply and then position it exactly where you want it to be. Using those guides to help you. Okay, edit, duplicate, and apply. Edit, duplicate, and apply the rotation. Looking all right. Edit, duplicate, and apply the rotation there. We just need to get that exactly into position 
I hope everybody can see the snowflake pattern emerging very effectively now. Okay, I didn't do this particularly accurately. You, I'm sure, would want to spend a little longer getting this absolutely pixel perfect. It's close enough for now. It's also a slight issue that I went over the edge of the line, I think. Right, last thing to do before uh, to tidy it up is to ungroup and ungroup again. And then you're going to go through and take out each of these lines. There are two copies of each of these lines. So this does take a moment or three to clear. Oops, one point. Each line twice. And that's all right, isn't it? Let's just turn the grid off so we get to see it on a plain piece of paper. So document properties, I uh, beg your pardon. So view grid. I think that's looking all right. That's quite a nice sort of aztec -y snowflake design. I'm not sure that the Aztecs particularly went in for snowflake designs. And I think we'll stop there.